Hi there, welcome back to this channel. I have the M1 MacBook Pro here, loaded up with Ableton Live 10, running in uh, translated mode through Rosetta. Today I just wanted to play back a project I've been working on, and just to see how it works in emulated mode. All of the plugins here are also running through Rosetta, so everything here is uh, emulated through Apple's uh, emulation layer. So the M1 from Apple is a new CPU and it requires updated code for the software to work in native mode. But if you have software that is not optimized, it will automatically translate it through a, a translation layer that will add some uh, performance hit to the software. And in this case, I think uh, you will see some performance hit when you are running Ableton Live 10 with some emulated plugins as well. But uh, let's let's just try to play back this project and see how it works. And I just wanted to let you know that this is also a project you can download for free from my website or you can pay the recommended price. You have a link in the description below to this Ableton Live project. It's called How to Make Trans Number 4. And you can try it on your own system. So uh, with some uh, editing magic, let's try to uh, edit into this uh, display here and maybe try to move me in the corner or something and let's uh, just uh, play back this project. Let's uh, take a look at the settings. Uh, the settings are 44.1 kHz and we are using 256 uh, samples. And the instruments here are uh, mostly Diva, Tyrell, Serum, Spire, and some uh, built-in effects from Ableton Live, such as the saturator, EQ, and uh, I also use Valhalla Supermassive. And as I said there, that uh, everything is running in emulated uh, mode. So let's just try and play it back. And uh, let's just jump a little bit to the synths here. Yeah, this works. So you hear that crackling there. If I open up a window in front, you will hear this crackling sound. But if we have Ableton Live in front, the crackling sound will disappear. Okay, so it works now. Let's get to the breakdown. So here we have uh, some synths playing here. Uh, not this one actually because it's uh, silent, which I haven't installed. But we have some synths here. This is Spire. And we have synth here. It's also... This is Diva. And let's just try to see if we can play in the climax here. Oops. Okay, we get the beach ball. It did not like that. Okay, I think it uh, loosened up there. So we have uh, too much uh, stuff going on here and too much effects and uh, it was not able to play it back in real time in emulated mode. But it did not crash, it just, uh, I don't know, puked a little bit. But as you can see here, there I have a lot of plugins going. So when you emulate everything here, I don't really think that you probably can expect it to run that much. And I also want to mention that uh, the quality settings on uh, Diva and on uh, Serum and every synthesizer is set to draft here. So uh, they should be in their least uh, demanding mode. But let's see if we can uh, adjust some things here. Let's uh, up the uh, buffer size and uh, max it to 2048. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh. Oh, 
Okay. Almost. Hey, it's <laughs> it's actually playing. Some crackling, uh, of course. So it almost played the uh, climax here. Let's go to the breakdown. Breakdown works because it's uh, less of uh, less instruments uh, playing. Let's try the var variation there. Well, we have some crackling. So I have to remind you here that everything is running through the translation layer and the software is not optimized for the M1 CPU. And this project is uh, quite heavy and that it was almost able to play it. I think that's pretty impressive actually considering how it's uh, running. When we get updated versions of Ableton Live and the plugins that works with the M1 CPU, I think you will see a huge performance improvement on this type of software. But if you want to use Ableton Live now with a M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, you should wait until you get an updated version of it. And you should also wait until plugin plugins and third-party plugins are updated as well. With that said, I have a video in the works with uh, Logic Pro X and uh, I want to show the native performance where uh, I have included a third party plugin such as uh, FabFilter Saturn. It's uh, recently been released and it works really well with the M1 CPU. So if you want to see that as well, uh, click like on the video so I know that this is something that interests you. And again, I want to just to clarify that this is not really a review of Ableton Live running on a translation layer. This is just me trying it out and uh, filming the process and letting you know and uh, see how it works firsthand. And uh, that's just the basic uh, thought uh, behind uh, this video. And you have to make a decision yourself if this is something, if this is a computer you want to buy or uh, not. If you want this project, as I mentioned before, you can uh, download it from my website. There's a link below so you can check it out uh, yourself. You can uh, download it for free or you can pay the recommended price. It's up to you. That's basically all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.